Hello everyone, this is Strider. Welcome to a video on Pokemon Masters X. Today I want to talk about a new mechanic that was introduced in the anniversary of this game. Uh, it's a mechanic that I think a lot of people might be overlooking or undervaluing. And if you haven't told by now uh, in the title of this video, I'm talking about type skills. This is something that I'm curious about. It's something that's new to the game and uh, something that I'm excited to see the development of. Right now, type skills is something that affects pairs of the same type, right? So apparently if, uh, there's, you can get certain boosts for pairs that have... If you have the two of the same team members that have the same sync type. So for example, if I have Flannery here and I put Flannery on a team with Marley, then they will both, from my understanding, get their type boost for both being fire, right? So as long as I have two of the same sync types on the same team, then we get the boost. So there are different boosts and different levels of type skills. So if you here, if we go back to Marley, uh, Flannery, you can see Flannery is a uh, fire tech. So she has the tech boost, right? She's at level 1 right now, which means she gets uh, plus 12 to all attack and special attack fire type attacks. And she increases the maximum HP of the whole team. Each unit gets an extra 12 HP on top, right? You can see here if she goes up to level 2, the tech boosts would increase to 16 for all type fire type attacks whether they be uh, physical or special attacks and all units on the team regardless of type would get plus 16. Now this is very important the fire type attacks but we're going to revisit that a little bit later in this video but let's go over to Marley. Marley is a fire type support. Support gets different boosts to their fire type skills or just type skills uh, supports only boost your maximum HP. So every unit would get an extra 30 HP tacked on to their existing HP. If I have two units, Marley's boost would give plus 30. If she goes up to level 2, it's plus 40. Level 3 is plus 50. And the maximum level you can get is level 4, which would be plus 60 HP for every single unit. Going back to the tech Again, it's plus 12 for the attacks and plus 12 for the HP. Level 2 is plus 16 for the attacks and HP. Level 3 would be plus 20 for both. And level 4 would be plus 24. So each unit would get an extra 24 health and an extra 24 uh, attack boost on their fire type attacks. It has to be, it's only fire type attacks. So if you have a unit uh, that is on this team that's using a non-fire type attack, it would not get the boost. And this is true for all units and all types. I'm just uh, looking at fire types today uh, because we're going to do a little experiment and we'll see firsthand whether this does have a great effect on uh, damage output or not. Going over here, Blaine is a fire tech. Now, Flint is a fire strike. Strikers do not get a boost to their HP. They only get a boost to the attack. But it is a little bit more than the tech. Tech has uh, plus 12 at level 1. Uh, fire type uh, strikers get plus 15. At level 2, they go up to plus 20. Level 3, they go up to plus 25. And then at level 4, they max out at plus 30. Here you can look at some of the units that I have maxed out already. Misty is a water support. So if I pair her with another water type, like uh, SS Blue or uh, SS Grimsley, Cygnus Suit Grims, then everyone on that team is going to get plus 60 because she's at level 4 right now. I think I have a couple strikers maxed out as well. Yeah, so look, I got Grims maxed out as well. So if I paired Grims with Misty, then Misty's attacks would be getting a 30% bonus on all of her special attacks and Grimm's would have an extra 60 health which is often helpful for some of the more uh, Glass Canyon type strikers. So I do think that this is something that 
uh, can massively boost or increase the damage output and the survivability of units in the game. So um, I wanted to do a video and see if what I think is correct or not. I have just uh, increased the the type attacks of some of my units and have been happy with the results, but I did not specifically test. So today we're going to test and we're going to see uh, if it makes a difference. We're going to test fire. I'm going to go with uh, Hilda and uh, Ethan, two fire type attackers, and I'm going to put uh, Ho-Oh on there so that we can do a couple uh, different tests. The reason that I'm doing three fire strikers, which is not really ideal as a team comp, but I think that because it boosts the damage, if I max out all of their damage, then they're going to be getting an extra 30 per unit on their damage moves. So that's an extra 90 attack boost by boosting them all together. It, it's not, again, not ideal comp, but we should, it should be very visible whether or not this is making a difference in their damage output that way, right? So, um, you do keep in mind though that it, with the tests, they are already getting the plus 15. So actually, the boost increase is gonna be 15 extra per unit. So it's gonna be 45 extra damage per attack per unit. All right, with this team comp. So let's, let's jump into it. All right, so let's take a look. Let's see if we can focus on some numbers and then we'll try another stage. I also want to look at uh, Cheryl, but we'll talk about that in a little bit later because I did mention that this is for fire type attacks. As long as you have two of the same type, if you have a third that's not the same type but has this, the fire type move, that fire type move will be boosted. And I want to look at that because I think there is some confusion about it. So we're going to look at that today. But let's just jump in. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just buff all the units first, and we will take it from there. Um, I'm gonna try to get each one of their moves in before sync, and then each one of their moves in after sync, but I'll probably kill it. So we might have to do this stage twice. Okay, come on. Let's get started. All right, here we go. Try to pay attention to the damage and see if it makes any difference whatsoever. Oh. Yeah, again, this is not to showcase a team comp or anything. <laughs> if I make a mistake, we're just gonna roll with it. Um, flame charge with Hilda because she has speedy entry, so this gives her plus three speed, so now I can just max out her attack with one of her training moves. Okay, so Ho Ho is ready. Let's use Sacred Fire. Ethan's ready, we're gonna use a flamethrower first. And then Hilda should be maxed attack. So we're gonna use the flamethrower. Okay, Sacred Fire has 383 with a crit before the out of sun. And then again we'll get uh overheat in here. Uh, we'll get Ethan up to full health because we wanna use his eruption next. That's 158. Oh I missed Ethan's. Now's our chance! <laughs> Missed Ethan's move. All right, 158. I'm not paying attention here. All right, flame charge. Let's do flamethrower again. I missed it, so we're just gonna keep going. Flame charge is 158, right? 174. Flare bits. There's 168 for uh, fire. Uh, all right, flamethrower. And now we can sing. Right there. All right, so Flare Bits comes in with 617, around 600. You know, this is just got this. we shouldn't notice a difference. Okay, we're up to 243. Ethan, Ethan really needs to start to shut. Okay, so let's go with the, these moves here. Don't lose. Three hundred and eighty. Yeah, so it's about double in the uh, Take it away. in the sun as it should be. Four thirty-five. Yeah, good. Yeah, you can get a nice boost in the, in the sun. So you really need the sun. Oh. Right, we can come back and help again. 
sacred fire coming up. Now's our chance. 586, so just a little bit more than double, less than double. Here comes a flare bit, one about double. 1400. Let's get Ethan's eruption. You can do it. And that should be GG. Oh, hey, you gotta love the miss. 600 in the sun. Come on over here. Focus. There you go. 1800. Yeah, so there we go. We don't need to finish this stage. Uh, let's switch out to Cheryl now and look at the difference, okay? So we, we, we got the numbers here. It shouldn't, it shouldn't really matter the stage. We should see a difference regardless. What I want to do is I want to put Cheryl on here because she's not a fire sink type, but she does have a fire move. Please, may I go but with to you? see this, I need to get another type because right now she's getting the boost from having Ethan. If you look here, underneath the Ho-Oh, it has fire level one, right? And same with Ethan, it's kind of glowing. If you look at Cheryl, it's, it's dull. If I take Ethan off the team, and you can see it, it, there's no longer two of the same type. And so they're not glowing. If I put something like Sumeri on the team for speed, I'll try not to get then you nobody's away. getting any of the boosts, right? You can see Plumeria I have uh, also invested in. At the end of the video, I'm going to go through my thoughts of what the best types currently in the meta are to invest in and uh, maybe some specific team comps that you might want to consider, as well as ones that are probably not even worth it. So uh, we, if you have any questions or comments, please do include that, and I will definitely love to start the, the conversation about that. All right. So yeah, let's do this team first, and then we'll add B Ethan back on the team because he's a little bit faster than Hilda, and then we'll go again. We're just gonna buff. Uh, this time, I also want to show with Ho Oh, uh, he also gets Solar Beam, which is not a fire type. So I do want to. I'm gonna use this opportunity to also show off Solar Beam, so that we can see that the damage does not increase when I increase his uh, fire type skill. So let's go, let's do this. Again, we're just going to buff everything and then use the moves that we're trying to compare, which would be Flamethrower for Cheryl and Solar Beam for Ho-Oh. Uh, Plumeria is just there for speed. All right, here we go. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm just going to match the, da the damage output for Cheryl based on her training move. Alright, so we're going to do a, a Solar Beam out of the sun, which I don't recommend at all, but we just want to look at the damage. Because Ho-Oh does have Charging Sun, which powers up all moves, so it doesn't have to be a fire move, but fire moves get the extra bonus in the sun, right? So we'll take a look at the first flame throw coming up here, and that is 106 without... Uh, without fire types. We'll get another one in before Ho-Oh so we can see what it's like. Solar Beam out of the sun with a crit is about 700. Okay, here we go. Get the sun up. There's a second flamethrower outside of the sun. Yeah, 103. So about 100. So now we're going to get one in the sun. And we'll get one Solar Beam and then we're, we're going to put Ethan back on the team to see if Cheryl's flame throw gets a boost or not. Oh, there he is. Yeah, see it crit 400. I don't know how that crit works. Let's get one without crit. I I honestly think Koho's best utility is so Which is amazing. Yeah, 200, so yeah, there you go, 235 outside of the without a crit. There you go, boom. Let's get out of here, put Ethan back on. You can always count so now on you can see that their fire type skills are blinking, which means that skill type should be in effect, uh, which means that Cheryl's fire type move should be boosted on this comp. 
There we go. Let's see if it works. All right, here we go. Again, just buff, 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 and then we go. Now to keep it consistent. There you go. I'm going to do Solar Beam again to show that it's not any different from the Plumeria uh, setup. He does not get Solar Beam boosts, but Shadows should get increased damage. So Solar Beam should stay the same. It was like, okay, 700 quick before the sun and 1700 after the sun. Uh, Alright, so it was like slightly higher. Flame boost, flame thrower. But <laughs> that was what was that? Oh, maybe she buffed her defense. Yeah, 111. So it's you know a little bit higher. On the other stage, you can see a big difference. Let's see if there's any noticeable difference in this. Game. Alright, 262. Yeah, so about, you know, it looks like a 10% increase right now. Now's my chance. The solar beam should still be about 1700 with crit. Wow. Please. 700 without crit. Yeah, she must have boosted her attack. Her Don't lose. Take it away. It's the same. And Cheryl is doing more damage with her attack. Alright, so the next step here <laughs> is to invest in the fire type skills. Get them up to level 4 each and see if that does have an increased damage output for the team. I do recommend uh, having a team comp idea in mind before investing in any, any type skills. And ideally it takes uh, 60 type skills to max out. 10 for the first level to go up to level 2 and then 15 to go up to level uh, three, I believe. Oh no, no, that's it. Ten to go up to level two, twenty to go up to level three, and then thirty to go up to level four. So it's sixty total. So ideally, if you want to uh, do a team of all the same type, you want to have around 180 of these type skill spheres, whatever they're called. All right. So I have 187. So I will be able to right, upgrade uh, Ethan, Hilda. And, oh, oh. Again, this is not ideal. I just wanted to do it to showcase and see if there is a difference. I'm finding out you like with you guys. Now? Okay, so Pretty she's strong, maxed huh? out. You can see that she's going to power up all fire types by 30. Let's do that for the other two. Really quick. Naturally. And yes, I do have Naturally. a relic, but one step closer to being. I needed ho oh for the sun, and not everybody does have red. I don't really use them that much because I like feeling good. comps. <laughs> Here we go. Let's get. I'm feeling good. Finally. He is fun. Me. I do use him to clear like Battle Villa co-op real quick. All right. So these guys are all maxed skills. They should have an extra 45 uh, attack boost to their moves when we put them back on the same team. So let's go back to the stage. Okay. Let's do it. Same same deal. We're gonna buff everything. But this time, let's see if there's a noticeable difference. All right, here we go. Take it away. 
Alright, same so deal. Charge to get the next attack. There you go! Alright, we're gonna start with the Sacred Fire again. So it was like 300 something before this, this crit, and now there's 400 crit. Yeah, her flame charge was 200 something, now we have 400. Uh, 200. Uh, her flame charge was 150, now it's like 250. No crit on the overheat. And once we see the eruption, then we can save. Lair Blitz was about 600 last time. 642. You can do it! Damage increase. I'd say again, it's about ten to twenty percent. Now's our chance. Get a flare blitz in here. Get a fire fourteen. You can do it. Crit. If she survives this flare blitz. Right there. Fourteen without a crit. Now's our chance. Oh, oh, oh. Hmm. Something went wrong. Take that! Here I go! You've got this! Alright. Oh, no shucks! So yeah, maybe, uh... They were no match for us. The damage output, uh, output is... It's negligible, but it does make a difference in longer battles. Again, I think that the support is helping out a lot with the extra 60 HP that can be the difference between you know, surviving with a sliver of health to win the game or you know, succumbing to a sink or an enemy AoE move and having to reset. Alright, let's, let's go back and put Cheryl on. Alright, so... Before she was doing around 100, 110 without the sun and 250, 260-ish with the sun. Solar Beam was 700 without the sun and it was 1700 right. with crit after Here we the sun. Go. Just because Ho-Oh gets charging sun 6, which is a 60% increase. Now. Yeah, here's that special Here defense ball. There you go. Leave it to me. Now. Oh, by the way, I really don't recommend using solar beam outside the sun. It's just worthless. Leave it to me. Get him. Here I come. Take it away. All right, moment of truth. Yeah, there you go, 127. Now's our chance. Okay, get one more in there. Just to see. Solar Beam did not change until so about 100. Now's my chance! Please. Yeah, 128, nice. So yeah, there's definitely an increase in damage. Again, without... Any type skills, her flame throw was doing about 103, 106, and now it's doing 
124 with the extra 60 from you got this. Uh, 60 attack power from Ethan and, and uh, Silver. Sorry, 300. 300 in the same. Yeah, so yeah, you can see that it doesn't really need to be a unit that has the same sync type if it has the, the same type move. So that could affect how you're combining. For example, one of my favorite teams is I like to use ho -Oh with Lyra and <laughs> and the Eggsaur, Egg Venusaur, uh, because they can just spam Solar Beam in the sun it. and it's pretty deadly to be honest. So, went wrong. There you go. Um, all right, so let's let's wrap this video up. I'm going to give you my recommendations on uh, what I think are probably the best type skills to invest in and maybe some team comps and also what maybe is not worth it, right? So if you're looking for a little bit of added damage, you know, 15 to 20% extra uh, that may make or break the game, then you're going to want to get some of the same team, same sync types on the same team and invest in their skill type, their type skills here. So who would I invest in? Uh, number one, I would say is grass. As I mentioned before, you have uh, units like uh, Leaf, if you got her, which is, which you should be pulling for her because she goes away in like two days. Um, also, Erica and Lyra for sure. Lyra make, works well with grass types. Like I said, I, my favorite team comp is Lyra uh, Exor, <laughs> my little guy there, and and Ho Oh, because Ho Oh gets the boost with the grass types on his Solar Beam, right? He, I did not invest in him before, but he was getting the extra attack because having Lyra and uh, Exor on the same team was giving the boost. Also, many people got uh, Rosa invested in and she gets benefits from the sun too. So I think that Lyra, if you have Lyra and you have Solar Eyes, then grass types are uh, the way to go, in my opinion. Also, another good type to invest in are Poison, the Poison units. They work well together. Normally, like, you know, Janine needs the... She has this Venom Dredge, which is excellent, but she's not really that great at poisoning herself, and it only works if the enemy is poisoned. So if you're gonna use Janine, you know, say with her, her dad, Koga, then you wanna get those type skills there, right? Um, and then somebody like Plumeria can also really benefit from having, you know, Janine on the, on the the team. I like to run Janine, Pumeria, and Cygnusuit uh, Leaf. Cygnusuit Leaf is obviously great at poisoning, and Pumeria gets toxic power on her grid, and the extra boost that she gets from type skills of ha with having Janine on there, you know, does make a little bit of difference. I noticed that they can clear the stages a lot easier than before. So those are my top two types, Grass and Poison. Water now is actually probably should be on there. Water is the top three because you got everybody has uh, Misty, which is one of the top supports. We also have um, Cygnus Suit Blue, which is probably the top support, especially after the buff coming in a couple days. And then you know whatever your Water Striker is. If you have those two, Cygnus Suit uh, Blue and and Misty, with say Grimms or Barry or even Hilda. Uh, not Hilda, uh, what's her name? Chris, then you're gonna do some massive damage, right? After that would be fire. You know, a lot of people have pulled red. You can do something like red with Blaine, and uh, lots of people like to run red with Serena for the sleep hacks. So red can get extra damage from Serena because she is a tech, and he, he can use the extra bulk a little bit, right? Um, Again, Ethan and Hilda, or even Flint, make a nice backup for that. And lots of people have uh, invested in Flannery as well. I have not, but, you know, look at the teams that you use the most and see if you have any on the same team. Uh, uh, Electric is good because poor, uh, poor, uh, P Pikachu is a striker, so it gets the extra bonus, but he works more as a support with his potions, you know. 
Master Healing. So you can run him with something like, you know, Rotom and maybe maybe Volkner coming out or Clement or even if you've invested, a lot of people have kind of done how how it works as a great sync nuke and he can get the extra uh, attack from having Pikachu on the team. So yeah, Electric and then Bug. Now we have more Bug types. Uh, Biola is free to play and she's a great tank worth investing in so you can get the extra and she's tech so she gives uh, HP and attack bonus when you invest in her so if you have her and like even Noland or if you got Lesmi or uh, Grimms who Grimms actually allows for uh, double striker teams so Grimms and, and Noland or Grimms and uh, Lesmi with Viola as a tank can, you know, doing, you're going to see a lot more damage if you invest in their type skills. If you got uh, Steven or Price, Price is free to play, you might pair them with uh, Glacia and invest in her so they, they can get a little bit extra HP. But Ice is kind of lacking. All the rest of the units are kind of lacking, to be honest. Maybe flying? Flying with Blue and Skyla and uh, Winona. That's it. If you want to run that comp, they're really good, but Winona doesn't have a great rip. Psychic is okay. You got you got Sabrina, you got um, Caitlyn, and Clemen, and you can pair them up with... Even Liza works as a good support. And you got Mew, so yeah, Psychic is good. Um, but Rock, not so much. If you're running Kukui, Kukui and Olivia, yeah. Ghost, definitely not. Mm. The only support we have for Dragon right now is Drake, so probably not, unless you're going to run Triple Striker or Double Striker, which they're all gauge hung hungry, so you might not want to do that. Dark, I do sometimes run Karen and Grim uh, and OG Grimms together, but not worth the skills. And again, same with uh, Steel and Fairy. You, I can see that. Uh, Lily might work well with with Summer Lyra, but I don't know if it's worth investing in the skills. It's same with OG Steven and Jasmine. They might, but they might be fighting for Sync because they both get recoup, recoup, rejuvenate. Sorry. So yeah, that's it. There's uh, definitely not uh, Ghost. Definitely not Ground. Um, definitely not Normal. Right. You, I, I think a lot of people might say, "Oh, Gladian, I'll get the skills with him." Gladian's normal, so he needs to be paired with another normal type sync to get the boosts. Correct me if I'm wrong with that. I know that he does change sync types when he uses his trainer move, but I don't know if that affects his type skills. So please, if you know about that, let me know in the comments below. Um, but yeah, there you go. That's my thoughts on type skills. I do think that they are worth investing. And if you look at the, the type skills, when you do max out a type, which we just did Hilda, they do say that they're going to do additional types coming soon. So maybe pairs from the same region, who knows. But that's my video. It's gone a little bit long, but I did want to tackle this because there's a lot of questions and I wanted to see firsthand if it does make any sort of difference. It does make a little difference in my opinion and I do think um, you should pay attention to them. All right, have a great one. Bye.